Hello guys, this is Shazib from techscenarios.com. Today we are going to start a new series of tutorials and that will be about AR, Augmented Reality. This series will have many parts. We will start from the scratch up to the advanced or maybe medium level so that you would be able to create uh, your very own Augmented Reality application or a game up to your needs. In this part of this tutorial, we are going to see how to integrate Euphoria with Unity 3D and how to set it up for augmented reality environment. And in the end, we are going to develop a very simple and easy but user interactive augmented reality application. So at the end of this part of this tutorial, you will be able to create a very small augmented reality application of your own. So let's start making our first AR application. Okay, before getting started, let me tell you some information about AR. Some people think that developing an AR application needs a lot of equipment or devices or a lot of money, but that's not true. All you need to develop an AR application is a running desktop and a Unity 3D installed inside it and a device to test your AR application or game. The device can be an Android phone iOS or even Windows. Okay, so let's start now. If you haven't ever developed an AR application and you are just getting started into AR application development using Unity 3D and Vuforia, then follow along with this tutorial. Go to File, Build Settings and Player Settings and go to XR Settings. I have already installed Vuforia plugin for Unity 3D, but if you haven't installed Vuforia plugin before, then you will be given a button here called Download Vuforia Plugin for Unity 3D. When you click this button, you will be taken to this web page and you need to click this Download for Android and install this plugin. After you install this plugin, you will go to Build Settings again and in XR Settings, you will see these options. The second option is Vuforia Android, sorry, Vuforia Augmented Reality Supported. So you need to check this box. Okay, so now we have enabled Vuforia Augmented Reality for this very project. After we have enabled the Vuforia Augmented Reality, now you can see an additional menu called Vuforia here. And all the features of Vuforia plugin, AR plugin are inside this menu. Okay, so let's create Vuforia image target. Any feature of Vuforia that you want to use in your project First, you need to import that. So that's our image target. Since we are going to use Buforia's built-in AR camera, so we do not need our main camera. Let's delete it and go to game object, Buforia, and create an AR camera. Let's rotate it so it faces our image target oh sorry okay go to open for your configuration and here you will see you will be asked to enter app license key every AR game that you will develop or every AR application must have an app license key so let's create an application license key for our game we have to go to developer.rufoyi.com and sign in, then click develop. There you will see all the app licenses that you have already created for your games. I have already created the app license key for this demo project, but for you guys, let's create a new one. Click get development key. Acknowledge that. Click confirm. There you go. Unity Vuforia AR. Click this and copy this one. Go to Unity and paste it here. That's all. There are other configuration and settings for AR. You can also manage these. But for now, let's leave it like this. 
now we are going to create our database AR database for our image target uh, since you can see the image target is blank there is nothing inside it so uh, it is because we have not added our um, database to our project so let's create a database and then import it in, into our project so for this let's go to developer.rufoya.com and then click develop and then click target manager there you will be seeing all the databases that you have created for your previous projects I have already created the database for this project but let's create a new one a database device create oh sorry you are not allowed to have spaces inside this device and create there you go unity move for your ar2 let's open it there is nothing inside this database so let's add an image target you can add a single image cuboid cylinder or even 3d objects into your ar database but for this you need to have exact 3d shape in your real world as well as its 3d model in your computer so let's click single database sorry single image and upload ar add so here you can see we added our first target image you can have many image targets in your database as well as 3d objects or 3d models as per your needs the rating is important the image target or the 3d model will be recognized by your phone camera more efficiently if the rating is higher so that's how you create a database for your ar games so now we have to integrate this database into our project so let's click download database unity editor download after the download is complete you need to import this database file into your project so click import okay that's all go to image target select type predefined database select the database that you just uploaded and we just have one image target here but you can have multiple so let's create the first one AR okay here is the image target let's rename it to for example cash $100 uh, let's con consider this as a $100 bill so whenever you scan $100 bill with your phone camera something will happen it's up to us what will happen or what will appear or what what your game logic is so let's just create a cube here inside this cache 100 image target three object cube give it a proper size and then whenever we scan this image target this cube will appear there is no logic behind this cube it will just appear in our game but that's just the starting you can have your own logic your extensive gameplay or whatever you you, you you can imagine but for now let's display just a cube just like this whenever we scan this image target with our phone camera we can try it on Android phone iOS or even Windows so let's give it a try on Windows to save our time so whenever we play it notice our image target will be disappeared from the scene so let's bring our image target in front of the camera there you go it recognizes our image target very efficiently and there you go
Okay, for now, there is no logic behind this cube, but you can add as much logic and as much extensive gameplay as you like. You can take it to the next levels, but this is just the getting started part of this tutorial. So, I hope you guys understand when I say this is, this is not the end, this is just the beginning of AR. So hang on guys uh, and wait for the next parts of this tutorial to go to the further details and further in depth of AR using Vuforia and Unity 3D. In the next part we will make it user interactive by using GUI with Vuforia AR. We will involve animations of the character and uh, we will have different actions depending on our input. So wait for the next part of this tutorial and all the links that are used in this tutorial I will give them in the description below too so don't worry okay guys that's all for today if you like it please give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really helps me and if you have some question or you're having some problem just comment it below I try my best to read all the comments whether they are on my blog or on my YouTube channel or anywhere on the social media and I try to answer them as quickly as possible so see you in the next video bye bye